Hi folks, welcome back to another episode of the Single Dad's Cookbook. Today we're going to be making chicken curry, which is one of the nation's favourite. So for this, I've got some chicken thighs, I've got um, 250 grams of tomatoes, I've got two onions there, which probably equate to one large onion, I've got 185 grams of ginger, and I've got seven cloves of garlic there and a secret ingredient which we'll cover in a little bit so first of all you want to get your onions on because this is one of the key elements of making this so you want to cut these pretty fine because everything's going to become translucent and it's going to turn into the the actual curry sauce later on so what we're doing there as you can see i'm just finely chopping the onion take your time with that and you want it about that size so once that's all done now you've got a, a good glug of oil. Uh, you want a neutral oil. I'm just using some uh, vegetable oil there. So you want a good glug there at the bottom. You can see it looks it looks loads, but you do want these to be frying in there. So you want to put all the onion into that pan. Now you want to be cooking them until they are golden. So get that on, add a bit of salt. That will draw out the moisture in the onions, which will help um, flavour in. So, I've got the microplane, and I'm just going to grate the, all the garlic and all the ginger. If you've got a food processor, use the food, food processor. You can see there, I've got that ginger and garlic paste. So, we're just going to pop that to the side, mix it all in, and then pop it to the side. Now, we're going to crack on with the tomatoes. Again, you want to uh, dice these up so that when they go into the, the pan, they'll break down easy. So I'm just slicing these little ones up. If you've got big tomatoes, use the big tomatoes. All you're doing there is you're just going to be finely dicing them. So I'm just doing a couple here to show you. While I'm finishing that off, I just want to say thanks very much for watching these videos. So we've got the tomatoes. We've got the ginger and uh, garlic paste. Now we're moving on to the chicken. As always, I'm using chicken thighs for this. Reason being, you can abuse chicken thighs and they will still, um, they can, you can't overcook them effectively. Again, as always, I'm just going over them, making sure that there's no bits of bone, any extra bits of fat, anything like that. I'm getting rid of just so that when you're actually eating it, you know that it's a good clean bite and there's nothing untoward in there. Okay, so you see there, just pulling it apart, that kind of tendony bit there. Guys, like I was just saying, thanks very much for watching these videos um, and, and the comments. Some of them are, honestly, I read every one of them. They're, they're absolutely brilliant and I appreciate every one of them. So I've given everything a wipe down. I've got the chicken there um, all chopped up. So you can see the onions, they've started to turn translucent and golden. We want a, so they've released all their sweetness to that. We now want to add in um, the, the paste. So you've got your garlic and ginger and you want to cook that through. So you want to make sure that you've got all of it and you give it a good stir and you want to cook it for a good five minutes and just cook it through so that you've everything's starting to amalgamate and it's starting to give you a bit extra flavouring and it's releasing all that flavour. So as you see there, once that's done, add in all the tomatoes, give them a good stir around and what you want to be doing here is you want to be cooking them down so again they're releasing all their juices and they're turning into mush and this is going to be the base of your sauce. So see there, after again about five minutes, you've got this beautiful curry sauce coming together. Now, to make it a curry sauce, you can add all these fancy flavours or you can just add in two tablespoons of your preferred curry powder. 
Now I've using a mild curry powder here, you can pick whatever one you want, but I'm just adding in a couple of tablespoons of curry powder and I'm going to mix that through and I'm going to let that cook out because in that curry powder it's got all the turmeric, it's got all the other fancy flavours that makes, makes life easier. So I'm just adding that in and I'm cooking them through. Then I'm going to leave it. Now if it's starting to become a bit too thick, you can add in a splash of water. So just keep an eye on it. You don't want this to burn. So you want to keep it on the move and until all that tomato is broken down. So you keep going at it. And guys, honestly, I wish you could have smelt this at this point. The whole kitchen smells beautiful. Okay, so we've got that lid on, let it cook through. And there you can see the sauce is coming together. This is your basic masala sauce in essence. Now we're adding in all the chicken. So we've got the chicken there. We're now going to just mix that in so it's all covered. So it gets a good covering of the sauce. Again, as you can see here, it looks like it's a little bit dry. So you just keep an eye on it. And I'm adding in just another little splash of water just to keep it nice and loose so it's, it's covering there. You see there, just a splash, nothing too major. And I'm just going to stir that over, lid back on it, and I'm going to let that simmer and cook through the chicken. And let that chicken cook all the way through until it's done. So giving it a stir, lid back on. And after about 15, 20 minutes, you can see there, chicken's all cooked through. Everything's looking great. Um, also, I turned the, the, the temperature down at that point, so it's just simmering away rather than it being a high heat. Splash of double cream. And it is literally just a splash. You, you want to, If you're going to measure it, it's probably three tablespoons, absolutely max. And that's got your now your beautiful creamy curry sauce that we all know and love. And now we're just going to plate this up. It's quite simply, just some... Um, Boiled rice, bit of chopped coriander, and we're just going to table this up, and you can see the final product. Guys, this was unbelievable. I hope you try it. It's If you've not got all the fancy spices, but you've got curry powder, do this. It is a bit of preparation, but trust me, it is well worth it. Um, I hope you are all staying safe. From my family to yours, till the next time, thanks for watching. Signing off.